welcome in second part of electricity and magnetism in this video we cover three topics first one is gradient of a scalar field second is divergence of vector field third is curl of vector field gradient of a scalar field gradient is a latin word which means gradual change in any quantity it is obtained by applying a tail operator on a scalar field that gives a direction is in increasing dimension. If V is a single valued scalar function, then we can find the change from V to V plus dV when going from P1 point to P2 by using partial derivative theorem. That is dV is equal to curly V upon curly X into dX plus curly V upon curly Y into dY plus curly V upon curly Z into dZ. It can also be right in the form of vector position that is i cap curly v upon curly x plus j cap curly v upon curly y plus k cap curly v upon curly z dot product with dx i cap dy j cap plus dz k cap. Instead of dx dy dz k cap we can write position vector dr vector whereas i cap curly v curly x this term represent equal to del of v this del v is known as the gradient of scalar field v if we talk about its practical application then we can say gradient can be applied in large fields of studies such as engineering biomedical astrological atmospheric for example in civil engineering to measurement the steepness of a road is also defined by the magnitude of a gradient vector. To investigate protein absorption, generation of polymer, the most important role played by a gradient. When gradient applied on a scalar field, it gives a vector field and direction of that field is increasing. Let's solve the mystery of our second and third point that is a divergence and curl of the vector field. If we assume the vector field represents the flow of fluid or gas, then vector gave its velocity in that field. Divergence and curl are two vector operators which can be used in many vector field applications. In simple word, we can say divergence measures the tendency of a fluid or a gas to collect and disperse at a point. Mathematically, divergence can be obtained by the scalar product of del operator and vector field here i put a value of del operator and vector field in xyz coordinate after doing a scalar product that is i dot i j dot j k dot k is equal to one we get the scalar value that is curly ax upon curly x plus curly y upon curly y curly z upon operation of divergence on a vector field resulted into a scalar field that is scalar quantity the fluid flowing inward to the point is known as compression and divergence of that field is negative the fluid or gas is moves outward from the origin point is known as expansion for example air is heated and divergence of that field is always positive if the scalar product is zero that is del dot a vector is equal to zero then field is called solenoidal or incompressible whereas curl measure the tendency of fluid or gas to rotate or circulate around that point curl of a vector field can be obtained by the cross product of del operator and vector field mathematically we can write curl of a vector is equal to del cross a vector that gives the value of i cap curly z upon curly y minus curly a y upon curly z and so on the magnitude of curl gives how much fluid or we can say field is rotating or circulating direction indicates the axis around which it tends to swell the magnitude of the curl is twice as compared to the angular velocity vector of that field if curl of the vector field vanishes that means del cross a vector is equal to zero we can say a vector that is vector field is irrotational then two important theorem arise from these functions 
First one is the divergence of a curl is zero. The second one is the curl of gradient is zero vector. Thanks for watching the video. In next video, we cover three topics, line integral, surface integral and volume integral.